In this video, we'll look at best practices for extracting OBIEE data with Tableau. The extract approach is useful for OBIEE analyses that are slow or performing poorly. Extracting this data into Tableau, thereby using Tableau's in-memory database, allows for faster visualization. This video will show the best way to do this. In this example, say I want to extract data from the Northwind subject area. I have Tableau open and connecting to an ODBC server. The DSN is the OBIEE subject area I set up earlier. When I click Connect, I'm brought to my BI Connector login where my server name, port, and user ID are automatically filled in. I just need to enter my password and click Save. Now, back in Tableau, I'll click Sign In. In the Tableau workbook that opens, my current connection is listed here. I'll choose the OBIEE server I want in the database field. For the subject area, I can do a search for Northwind in the schema field. Then for the table I want, I could do a similar search or just click the search icon to list them all. The table I want is called Order Details. I can click View Data to see the table itself, then double-click the table to bring it into Tableau. Now the table is listed here. I'll do the same for three other tables, Customers, Orders, and Products. Then up here, I'll switch from Live to Extract. At this point, if I extract the data by switching to the Sheets tab, or if I click Update Now, Tableau will try to extract all of the data from all of these tables, and I will likely see an error. This is because most OBIEE environments cannot handle large data extracts. The maximum amount of data that can be extracted depends on the hardware configuration of the OBIEE server. In addition, your OBIE administrators might set limits on the maximum number of rows that can be exported. Therefore, I need to limit the amount of data that will be extracted from OBIE into Tableau. I can do this in two ways. Limiting the number of columns being extracted to under 20 fields, and adding filters to limit the number of rows. There are many fields included in this table, and I can limit the number of fields by hiding fields that I don't need. Each field has a drop-down arrow, which I can click and choose Hide. To select multiple fields at once, I can click fields while pressing the control key and hide them all together. If I want to get back one of the hidden fields, I'll click Show Hidden Fields and the hidden fields are displayed in gray. The drop down menu for these now has an Unhide option. There is another way to avoid extracting unwanted fields. You can use the Live Connection to create the worksheet with the needed fields. I'll click Sheet 1 to start the worksheet. Hidden fields appear here in gray. I want to create the sheet with just the fields I need and extract only that data. For rows, I'll drag in company name and I'll drag product name into columns. Calculations are performed with the options under Measures. Each set of calculations I want to perform can take time throughout all of these cells. So I'll click this icon and turn off Auto Update Worksheet, so that instead of updating the worksheet for each measure, the entire worksheet can be updated at once for all measures. Into the sheet itself, I'll drag Sales Revenue, then Quantity. Then I'll turn back on Auto Update. All of the calculations are performed according to the selected fields. These are the only fields that I want to extract. So next to Dimensions, I'll click the drop-down arrow and choose Hide All Unused Fields. I'll also turn off the display of hidden fields. The next step is to limit the number of rows being extracted. Say that I want to limit the data to order shipped only in one specific year. This is done by adding a filter to the query. First, I need to add the shipping field to the worksheet. I'll show hidden fields, find ship date, unhide it, and drag this field into rows. Now each company name has a range of ship dates. I'll go back to the data source, 
Switch to Extract Mode and click Edit. In the Extract Data window, I'll click Add to add a filter. I can easily find the Ship Date field in this list, but I could use the Search field if needed. I'll highlight Ship Date and click OK. Because this is a date field, the type of filters I can apply are all time-related – years, quarters, months, etc. I want to filter to a specific year, so I'll highlight Years and click Next. I only want 1997, so I'll choose just that year, though I can select multiple years if needed. Then I'll click OK. Now only data that shows a ship date within 1997 will be included in the extract. I could apply other filters as well if needed. When I go back to the worksheet, I can first save the extract parameters. Now when the sheet opens, all of the data is limited to orders that shipped in 1997. If you limit your fields and apply filters, and your query still errors out, try hiding more fields or adding more filters. An extract query could also error out if it takes more than 5 minutes in OBIEE. BI Connector has a built-in timeout of 5 minutes for long-running queries. You can increase the timeout by opening BI Connector from the ODBC Administrator console. Select the DSN and click Configure. Then click the Settings icon. Here is where you can increase the timeout length, then click OK. Enter your password and click Save. 